Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I want to give you a collection of my best tricks to zoom, move and even rotate the canvas in Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer sharing my industry secrets with you, so maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel for free. So before we get started, we need to differentiate between the image and the canvas. This what you're seeing here, that is the image, but that checkerboard area around that, that is the canvas and everything you're doing inside of Affinity Photo, all these different layers, they are happening inside of the canvas. So if we talk about rotating the canvas, for example, we are going to rotate everything at the same time. So this is a very important distinction. Now let's get started easy here. If we want to move the canvas around, you can do that with your mouse wheel and you will realize that a lot of these tricks, actually all of them, work by using the mouse wheel. So the first one is the easiest one. Just press down and hold your mouse wheel and then move your mouse around and you can see I can move around my complete canvas. So you can also see that these rulers on the side are moving because the canvas is moving, right? And this is especially interesting while I'm zoomed into my image like that so I can reach different areas of that picture. The cool thing about that trick is that it even works in combination with tools. So for example, if I have my freehand selection tool and I use that trick where I hold shift and then click and click again to make these straight lines, as you can see here around, for example, the outside of the face, I can still press down my mouse wheel and then navigate to different other areas of the image wherever I want to be if I hit the edge of my viewport. So that is very easy to use that tool in that way. Okay, let's talk about zooming. There are some very interesting ways. The first one is again using your mouse wheel. For that you simply hold your control key on the keyboard and rotate your mouse wheel and this will zoom into any place that you're pointing your mouse at. So this is very useful and very quick as you can see to navigate around and of course you can also combine that with pressing down the mouse wheel to move around so this will give you a very very fast and easy way to get to any location the image you want to be at. Another way to zoom and move around at the same time is the navigator tab down here. If you don't see that you can go to view and then studio and look for the navigator here and make a check mark next to that. So that this tab is opening up. And as you can see here, I have a slider for zooming. I can also click on these buttons on the side to zoom in steps. And another thing I have is this gray area, which is marking my viewport. And I can actually click and drag the viewport around. That's a possibility. But you can also click anywhere inside of that navigator to jump to specifically that point of the image. So this is also very easy and nice to do. Now if you want to get back to see all of your image, press Ctrl and hit zero and this will zoom it out to that position. By the way, here's another trick. If you hold Ctrl and press one, then this will zoom into 100%, which is often used, for example, for sharpening. And so this gives you a good view on how the picture actually looks, how these effects actually look when they are where the pixels have exactly the right size, right? Okay, let's zoom out here again. And the last one, this is now for rotation. And there are two different speeds basically for rotation. When you hold your Alt key and rotate your mouse wheel, you get a slow rotation from that. And you can see, depending on which direction I roll my mouse wheel into, the rotation is happening. But what you can also do is holding Control and Alt together, and this will give you a much quicker rotation like so. Now, if you want to return to your original position off the canvas, again, there are two ways. One is with a short key on your keyboard where you hold, and this is a lot, you have to hold together Alt 
control shift and then press R at the same time and this will reset it. Now that's a little bit much. So what you can do instead is that you go up here to view and then simply select reset rotation and this will just reset it to the normal position and then you simply press control and zero to move your picture back so you see everything in the image. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial and see you soon. Bye.